Start up Dr. Racket. Make sure that you're using the Racket language itself, and you'll want the image tools in 2HTTP image, so require them. We're going to use the SERP program to produce those strange triangle fractals. Notice that it calls SERP three times recursively, and also that the basis triangle is rather small, just one pixel wide. Click Run or type F5, and we'll try this out. SERP of 0, a little small, we can't see it. SERP of 3, a bit bigger. SERP of 6, bigger still. SERP of 9 is going to be bigger, but it also has this annoying lag. Let's see if we just imagine that. Alt-P to go back and edit, and now we're going to time SERP of 9. It reports at least a thousand milliseconds of computational time. Let's try that again. Yes, a thousand milliseconds. That's a second is a lot of computing for a modern computer. So let's see what that's about. SERP of 9 calls SERP of 8 three times, SERP of 7 nine times, SERP of 6 27 times. And when you get down to SERP of 1 and SERP of 0, you've got thousands of redundant calls that are repeatedly computed. What we would really want to do is store the first time we compute one of those calls in a hash table, and then after that, simply look it up. So here's how we do that. We implement SERP mem by first checking whether the key D is in the hash table, and in that case, we're simply going to read it back out of the hash table. Oops, we need an HT in that a function application. If it's not in the hash table, we do two things. First, we put it in the hash table with hash set bang. And what do we put in the hash table? Well, we put in the naive computation that we did earlier, almost. We make one important change. So we copy it, paste it in. But instead of having recursive calls to SERP, we want to have recursive calls, of course, to SERP mem. So we change those three calls to SERP mem. And that'll be storing the right result in the hash table. And then we want to make sure that once it's in the hash table, we produce it by reading it back out with hash ref. So that's the end of coding. So once again, click run or type F5, and let's see how this compares to the original. So if we time SERP of 9, there's that familiar lag time. So about a second, plus however long it takes to display. Again, check that it's not our imagination. It takes a thousand milliseconds. Compare this to SERP mem. The computation time for SERP mem of 9 is basically nothing. First time around, it takes a while to display. But the second time around, it doesn't even take time to display. So we have really speeded this up considerably. However, there's a cost in programmer time. We really don't want to make a hash table for every function that we want to make efficient this way. We don't want to have to write all of this memoization code for every function. So next time we'll learn how to automate this.